Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? f of x plus 4 multiplies f of minus x equals x raised to the power of 3. And what is f of x? I will solve these questions in two different ways. I will be applying the general polynomial forms and some basic algebraic forms. Let's see how we solve this. But before that, if you know how to solve this, we can drop it in the comment box. I will consider the solution for the first method. By general algebraic form, since what we have at the other side is x cubed, what if we are not given x cubed, we are given any other functions? How, to, how can we apply the general format? Suppose I consider a general function of f of x equals bm then x raised to the power of m plus bm minus 1. So the function will be decreasing based on the number of degree. Then the next one is x raised to the power of m minus 1. Then followed by bm minus 2, x raised to the power m minus 2. And if we continue going, we are going to reach a stage where we are going to have bm minus 1, x raised to the power of m minus m. And we have that one as b naught. If you consider this as f of x from the given question, and let's find f of minus x. What we do is just replacing every single x with minus x. As we have f of minus x equals bm then minus x raised to the power of m plus bm minus 1 minus x raised to the power of m minus 1. And when this one also continues, we are going to reach a stage where we have plus b naught. Then let's add this together. So by adding these together for f of x plus 4 f of minus x, we have bm x raised to the power of m plus bm minus 1. And we have x raised to the power of m minus 1. So it continues till we reach plus b naught. I put this in brackets. And I'm going to add plus 4 into bracket of bm into bracket of minus x raised to the power m plus bm minus 1 into bracket of minus x raised to the power m minus 1, then plus dot 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 plus b naught. So we have these expressions. Let's try and uh, add this together based on their corresponding power. But let's take a look at this. Here is negative. Does it correspond to this? We cannot determine this because we don't know the power of m. So if we know the power of m, we can say, okay, we combine this. Suppose this is even and this is even. We combine them together. But what if this one is odd number and this is also odd? So we cannot combine this because they have different values. But in a general way, when we combine everything together based on the coefficient of, let's sample k. Suppose we have a k, then s raised to the power of k in this. Uh, since I'm using b, so I'll just continue to consider b m s raised to the power of b k s raised to the power of k. And the values is going to give us, uh, therefore we are going to have b k then plus 4 into bracket of minus 1 raised to the power of k, then multiply by b k. So this is what we are going to have. So when we have this expression, we are now going to test for which one is positive and which one is negative. That means the odd and the even. So we already add the left hand side, so we have not considered the right hand side, which is s raised to the power of 3. But when we factor out b k from here, so taking out b k, we are going to have 1 plus 4 into bracket of minus 1 raised to the power of k. So this is what we have. 
and we know that everything will be equals x raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3. But let's determine the odd and even functions to know which one will be equals to x raised to the power of 3, since we are considering this in a general form. So let's say for even number. Any even number we plug in here, suppose this is 2, this one becomes 1. If this is 4, this becomes 1. So that is, we have this as 1 plus 4, and this equals 5. And from what we have, we are going to have bk into bracket of 5. Everything here equals 0. Because we don't know what is equivalent to, we just sample it to be 0. So therefore, for every bk here, this will be equals 0. And if we check for the odd, that is, 1, 3, 5, and others like that. We are going to have 1 plus 4 into bracket of minus 1 raised to power k equals 1 minus 4. For every odd number, it keeps giving us negative values. And this is minus 3. That is, we have minus 3 bk, this equals 0. And also, we have bk here equals 0. The odd function I consider here is when k is not equals 3. Because the power we have here is 3 at the other side which is s raised to power 3. So we now consider k equals 3. Now let's consider if k here equals 3. Suppose k equals 3, we are going to have 1 plus 4 into bracket of minus 1 raised to power of 3. And everything here is having b3, that is k. So equals x raised to the power of 3. But for this x raised to the power 3, so we have their coefficients as 1. So we are going to have b3 into bracket of 1 minus 4 equals 1. And b3 into bracket of 1 minus 4 is given as minus 3 b3 equals 1. So therefore, b3 equals minus 1 over 3. So what I observed here is, since we are considering the power, and at the other side, there is no any coefficient of the power of 3. So the others are 0. So it is only the power of 3 that gives us minus 1 over 3, where we compare their coefficient. So therefore, the function gives us f of x, will be equals minus 1 divided by 3, then x raised to the power of 3. So this is the solution that satisfies this as the first method. So let's look at the second method, the algebraic way. The algebraic ways of solving this. Suppose I replace every single x with minus x. This equation becomes f of minus x plus 4 into bracket of plus 4f into bracket of x, this equals minus x raised to the power of 3. And uh, let's multiply this by 4. So when we multiply this equation by 4, we have 4 multiplied by f of minus x plus 16f of x equals minus 4x raised to the power of 3. We have two different equations. Let's subtract these two equations from each other. So we subtract these two equations, that is we subtract equation 1 from this equation 2. So we are going to have um, 16 f of x minus f of x. Because f for f of minus x, we cancel for f of minus x there. And this also equals minus 4x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power of 3. So here is... 15 f of x equals minus 5 x raised to the power of 3. And when I divide both sides by 15 here, divide both sides by 15, so this cancelled, and we have f of x equals 5a is 1 and 5a is 3. So we have minus 1 over 3 x raised to the power of 3. So, makes sense. So this is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.